Hey, have you ever seen a rhinoceros up close? Let me tell you, these guys are built like tanks, but there's so much more to them than just size and horns. I'm about to take you on a whirlwind tour of the wild world of rhinos. Trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around for this. Okay, first things first. How many kinds of rhinos are there? Five, that's it. Just five species left on the whole planet. Let's start with the biggest, the white rhinoceros. These are the giants of the rhino world, weighing in at a whopping 2,500 kilograms. Most are southern white rhinos spread across southern Africa. There are about 16,000 of them left, so they're not out of the woods, but they're holding on. Now the northern white rhino? Different story. Only two are left, and they're both females, living under 24-hour guard. Scientists are racing against time, trying to save the species with high-tech breeding methods like IVF. Next up, the black rhino. Smaller but don't let that fool you. They've got attitude and that hook-shaped lip for grabbing twigs and leaves. There's maybe 6,500 black rhinos left and every single one counts. Then we have the Indian rhino. These guys have just one horn and look like they're wearing a suit of armor. They roam the grasslands of India and Nepal, and thanks to some awesome conservation work, their numbers are creeping up, about 4,000 now. Ready for a challenge? Meet the Javan Rhino. There are only around 75 of these left, hiding deep in the jungles of Indonesia. They're so elusive, even researchers barely catch a glimpse. And finally, the Sumatran Rhino, the smallest and honestly the hairiest of the bunch. Only about 30 remain, scattered across a few pockets of rainforest. Now here's the heartbreaking part, all these rhinos are endangered. Why? Poaching is the big villain. Their horns made of keratin, yep, same stuff as your fingernails, are worth a fortune on the black market. Add in habitat loss and human conflict and you can see why they're in so much trouble. But there's hope. Conservationists are fighting back with everything they've got, from anti-poaching patrols to relocating rhinos to safer areas, even dehorning them to make them less tempting targets. And those high-tech breeding programs? They might just pull off a miracle for the northern white rhino. So, next time you see a rhino, on TV, online, or maybe even in the wild, remember, these ancient giants have survived for millions of years. But right now, they need us. Every effort, every voice, every single one of us can help them keep charging forward into the future. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget, every animal has a story, the rhinos isn't over yet. If your skin is thick, your horn is sharp, and you snack on grass for breakfast, you just might be a rhino. But no matter your species, life's not easy when you're this iconic. There are five incredible species of rhino left in the world. The white rhino, Africa's gentle giant, weighs in at over two tons. Most are southern white rhinos but they're northern cousins. Only two females are left both under constant watch. Then there's the black rhino, smaller but feistier, with a hooked lip, perfect for grabbing leaves. Around 6,500 survived today, but that's just a fraction of what once roamed the savannas. Travel to Asia, and you'll meet the Indian rhino one massive horn, armor-like folds and about 4,000 left in the wild. Even rarer, the Javan rhino hiding in Indonesia's jungles fewer than 75 remain. And the smallest, hairiest of them all, the Sumatran rhino clinging to existence with only about 30 individuals. What's threatening these giants? Mainly, humans. Their horns, made of keratin, just like our hair and nails are sold illegally. Add habitat loss and it's a tough battle. But don't count them out just yet. Brave rangers guard them, conservationists dehorn them for safety, and scientists are pushing the limits of technology to save the northern white rhino with IVF. The world's rhinos have survived for millions of years. With a little help from us, their next chapter could be one of hope, not extinction.